Hi, my name is Sean Beasley and I'd like to introduce you to the feature that allows you to reset the owner upon ticket move. Here I have a ticket that's locked by the super admin and you'll see here that the owner is super admin. When I go up to the move box and move this to another queue, for example the postmaster queue, the ticket will automatically unlock and the owner will remain myself. Now this may not be something that you want to do. You may, have to ha you may want to have the owner reset. And there's uh, a couple of reasons that you might want to do that. Um, in this case, you can go into the admin section go into sysconfig then select the group ticket and core ticket there's an event module that's been included within OTRS to do exactly this so if we scroll down you'll see that the first module that's not selected that can be selected is ticket event module post force owner reset on move if I activate this and update my settings, when I then go back to my ticket, I'll see that I'm still the owner even though the ticket is not locked. If I to, to move this ticket again back to the MISC queue for example, then I'll see that as soon as I've moved the ticket, the owner will be set to user ID 1, which in my case is admin OTRS rooted localhost. Now in this case I want to explain to you one of the situations that you may want to do this in. I'm going to move this queue and this ticket into the admin queue. And when I go back as an admin, uh, I'll see that the ticket is in the open tickets needed to be answered because I have permissions within this queue. Logging in as a non-admin user, I will not see this ticket. If I were to move this ticket into a queue that was visible by another user, any user within this queue could go ahead and lock this ticket for themselves. In this case, I'm logged down as the first level agent. This is a test agent that I've created. And this agent has uh, the move into permissions for admin group. So any queues that are assigned to the admin group um, won't be visible for the user you won't be able to uh, work on any tickets within this queue uh, at notes or anything like that but he will be able to move tickets into this queue if I wasn't using this feature to unlock or to reset the owner on move once I move this ticket into the admin queue the owner would remain the first level agent and even though the ticket is in a queue which he for which he doesn't have permissions um, the user can still perform actions on this ticket Unfortunately, when the user goes navigates away from this ticket, the user doesn't have any possibility to find this ticket anymore once they've navigated away, unless they have a link for the ticket itself. If I were to search for <coughs> tickets that I own by selecting the owner attribute and selecting myself as the owner, and I would run a search, then I wouldn't find any tickets. But going back into the history, we can see that there's a ticket that's still assigned to me. I can click refresh. That's still assigned to me. That's in the admin queue. So this can lead to uh, losing losing responsibility of certain tickets, um, depending on your setup and your workflow. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope if you have a setup that's similar to this, where users have uh, the move into permission but don't have a search permission <coughs> to allow them to find tickets that they may still own but are in another queue, then it's always good to use this feature to force owner reset on move. Have a great day. Thanks.